Hello 3D1. So this is the first of two ed puzzles that you are watching. This particular presentation is about your project, which we're calling a darted mug. And you're going you're to see some examples. And the second ed puzzle is just how to create a cylinder using a slab of clay. Miss J will be showing you the darting process in person. So what is darting? It's actually a technique used in ceramics where you cut away shapes of clay, often from the mouth or foot of a vessel. Sometimes we see this in teapots. Darting alters the form. This is very similar to actually using the darting process in sewing. So it is very, very similar. Darting, it's a great way for experimenting and creating forms with either a smaller base or a smaller top, depending on where you cut the darts. So it basically alters the form. Darting allows you to make dynamic forms and expressive features in your sculpture. And so you're going to have some choices of the type of darting method that you get to use. Here's some examples of darting in ceramics. So looking at this example here, you can see the darting action in these two. This is a mug. So this is an example of a darted mug. This looks almost like a vessel for pouring water. So the darting happened here as well as here and here. The darting happened right over here and here as well. This is what it looks like in sewing. So what they typically do is they have a flat piece of fabric. They cut these triangles that are removed and then they sew them together. And that's sometimes how you get those corners uh, of your clothing. So next time you're looking at your clothing, check to see if they did any darting in it. So this is some examples of the darting process in ceramics. So you can see they had a cylinder and then they cut these edges to create these forms and they're actually using it for the bottom. Again, you see what's been cut out here, right? What's that shape? Look at the shape there that was cut out. And this person's in the middle of darting on this form. So darting can be used in clay that's been built by hand or clay that, that has been fired that has been thrown on the pottery wheel. Two more examples here of the darting process as well. So you're darting the outline, the what you cut could be more pointed like this or more bowing outward like this, these two examples here. So there's a couple of different ways to dart. You get to choose. However, once you cut, you really can't put the clay back on. So that's the thing. You're gonna have to be a little, you have to kind of decide which, which way you're going to dart your clay. This is concave, this is straight, and this is convex. And this shows you also how you can, what, what looks like when you dart with these different methods. So for A, if you, dart, if you cut out this shape from these edges, that's what you end up with. These probably don't work very well for our project in terms of a darted mug, but it's just cool to see the different effects that you get. So this darting process here, this is not my work. This is a different person, but they created a jug. So you can see they started with a cylinder. Then they decided where to cut. They had a sketched plan. So they had an idea where to do the darting. The darting happened right here. And then they actually cut to add a spout and a handle. So this creates definitely more of a jug, but you can see how they started with this form and ended up with that. This is another example of somebody who did some darting. So this is, this is the shape they had cut out from the wall. They didn't cut completely to the top. And then they actually score and slip and attach this together. They added a little mouth. So now it's a jug that you can pour from. And you can see the shapes that they darted. This has four darts. Your mug probably only needs one dart, but it depends. Maybe you wanna do two darts. This shows you what happens when you dart with these different shapes. And here's another example of a darted teapot. These are darted mugs. These are also darted mugs. And more examples. I'm just showing you the variety of ways that darting changes the overall form. So you will have something very similar to reference, but this shows you depending on the type of darting method, the outcome that you get. And you're gonna be creating your own paper template for darting. 
All right, what is your assignment? You're going to construct a cylinder and then use the darting process to alter the form. You're going to need to use texture though. We're using two out of the four texture methods, at least. So maybe you're having some incisings or carvings into the surface, or you're gonna add appliques and impressions. So at least two of these four methods to create texture. You're going to be attaching a handle to transform your piece into a mug. And there are multiple ways to make a handle. Your mug will be glazed. So keep that in mind, we will be glazing it. And a sketch plan is optional. I'm letting you decide. If you don't want to have a sketched plan, that's your choice. But if you feel better having a sketched plan so you know what you want to do for your mug, definitely make a sketch.